Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really sorry that there hasn't been many videos in the last couple of weeks. Um, and I know a lot of us in the UK will be saying the same thing. Um, one reason is because of the heat wave. Uh, I haven't been doing any crochet at all. Um, <clears throat> it did get up to 35 degrees one day this week and that is just absolutely sweltering hot, sticky, horrible. Um, and everyone says in the UK when you go abroad it is a different kind of heat. Um, here you get hot and sticky, sweaty. Um, it's very humid here and I think it's because it's a very damp, damp country anyway so but it's just not nice really even the fans that we had were just blowing around hot air um, just making you feel worse it was just really really not very nice um, and the other reason is my laptop went in for repair I know it was new um, but there was a fault with it so one of the fans had to be replaced um, I know I could upload from my phone but it did take a little while so that's another reason that um, I haven't really been doing videos. Um, the other reason is I've just been busy with other things. I haven't really been doing much crochet um, but I've been doing bits here and there. I showed you the blanket that I made the last time, um, the mermaid towel. Uh, I, I have started something else if you've um, seen on my Instagram or Facebook you would have seen that I've started something else but other than that I haven't done anything else just because it's been too hot um, I did try and sit down one evening to try and crochet but my I do have really clammy hands and when it gets hot they are just unbelievable and they they just stick to everything and I'm like no no I just can't just can't do it so I have um, started a blanket, it is an order, and <clears throat> I'm going to quickly show you what I've been up to, and then I'm going to show you the Simply Crochet magazine. Um, because I haven't really got much to talk about this video, um, I thought I'd just put them both together, and if you don't want to see the magazine, I will do that last, so then you can just switch off. Um, yeah, so, this is an order from... Um, a lady it's a rainbow <coughs> excuse me it's a rainbow ripple blanket um, that's just where it's been folded that will come out so as you can see the color the the camera isn't doing the colors any justice at all um, I've done red orange yellow green dark blue light blue purple and then the repeat again and I'm just on the yellow again this isn't the full length this is doubled um, it is working out to 40 centimeters across she wanted it as a car seat blanket um, I did message her and say that it's gonna be a bit bigger and a bit longer she said that's fine it is somebody that um, we know so it's not not so bad I said it would be more like a cot size and she said that's perfect so that's what I've been up to so far. I'm really pleased with it. I really like the colours, um, even though the camera really isn't doing it justice. But I think it's really cute, actually. I'd n I've never done a rainbow blanket before. She also wants one of the unicorns that I make, the sit-down one. Um, she wants one of those, obviously, because it's got the rainbow hair and the towel. Um, but it's for a little boy, so she wants it that in blue. Okay, I'll quickly go through the colours that I'm using. Um, as I'm on the yellow, I will show you this. This is New Fashion Double Knitting by Warcraft. And this is in the shade 4F33. And it's a yellow. Um, there is a mixture of yarns in this blanket. Just because where I went to the yarn shop at the local market and they didn't have all the same brand. But I think for a, blank for a blanket, it doesn't really matter. And you're not going to really tell as much as if it was like an actual garment or something. Um, the orange, I have lost the ball band. Um, this is a Robin orange. This was the only orange that they had. And to be honest, I know I said a few videos... Well, I think it was one of my first couple of videos I said Robin Wall was really rough 
Um, but to be honest, the coloured yarns are not so bad. It's the white that I find really, really rough. So I've done that in orange. It might be in the back bottom of the bag, so we'll see as we go along. The red is is um, new fashion, and that is shade 160. That's a like a London bus red. Um, it's showing a lot darker on screen actually. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Then the dark blue, I'm just pulling these out as they come out the bag, is a new fashion as well. Um, excuse all the long towels, it's just where I've cut off and uh, put them back in the bag. This is 622. Um, this is really, really nice. And the light blue is a Robin. This is a Robin one. And this is in the shade 281. Um, this is just a nice light blue. These are really, really soft, um, to be honest. They're not rough like the white was that time. Um, obviously, I don't know whether they had a glitch in their manufacturing or something, but this is so soft. Um, and I always said that I wouldn't use Robin for garments. If it's this soft, then I would use it for baby garments because it's lovely. The next colour is the greeny, the olivey green. This is shade 16. This is coming out a lot darker on camera as well. It's a little bit lighter than that. Um, I don't know whether it's because of the shade, the light coming in um then we have got um no i haven't got the ball band so i must have got rid of that and then we have got stylecraft <clears throat> only because this is what was in my stash already and it was a last minute color that i decided to use um i just thought purple would bring the rainbow together a little bit more um this is purple and this is shade magenta Um, and I really like this colour, I think it fits well with the rest of them, so yeah, that is the colours that I'm using on that. That's seven colours, I'm going to do four repeats of each colour, um, and yeah, I'm hoping that will be enough. So that's what I've been up to, I've been up to a, a few other things that unfortunately I can't show you just yet. <clears throat> um, Sorry, I have not long been up and my throat is driving me crazy. My cup says, I'm usually gorgeous, but it's my day off. Um, I've had this cup for years, years and years. I had this when I was working, um, not my last job, the job before. So, and I started there when I was 19. Oh, excuse me. I feel like I've got hair on my tongue. Um, yeah, so that was that, that was then. So not, I was 19 and I'm 31 now, nearly 32. Um, but yes, that's what I've been up to. Other than that, I haven't really been up to anything else. Um, I haven't done nothing to my temperature blanket. I have been jotting the days down. There's going to be a big chunk of red because obviously that's 25 degrees and above um, for this week. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, the other thing is when I, I'm when I go away, which is in two weeks and three days, I think it is. Um, I'm getting quite excited and, and getting a few bits ready for that as well as as the days go on. Um, I don't know whether to do the temperatures abroad or the temperatures here. Um, obviously, if I do the temperatures abo abroad, it will all be red because um, where I'm going to I'm going to Malta. Um, it's going to be above 25 degrees every day, I, I assume. So, I just don't know what to do yet. I might put both temperatures down, um, or what the other thing I might do is if I do that, get a red that has got a bit of the, not glitter, um, what do you call it? You know what I mean, you know the, the glittery thing through it. Um, I don't know yet. <clears throat> um, I'm saying um a lot again, aren't I? I'm, I'm out of practice 
with this really I haven't put any videos on my beauty channel either that's sort of fallen by the by uh, I'm more interested in doing my crafting because that's what I'm into more at the moment so yeah that's just the way I am uh, I'm going to show the Simply Crochet magazine so if you are not interested in that or if you're going to buy it yourself and you don't want to see what's in it um, first then um, switch off and I will see you in the next video so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed press that subscribe button um, new videos will be coming I don't have a set day for my videos it's just when I feel like uploading um, I am going away in two and a bit weeks as I said so there may be one or two videos uh, before then. There might be more, depending on how much I can get done. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for, for you that are going. Uh, if you are not going, I'm going to show Simply Crochet. So this is issue 59, and I received this it wasn't yesterday it was the day before and the reason I haven't shown this yet is just because it was too hot um, I didn't want to get the the tripod out I just it was just too hot to do anything and then to have the fan on I thought you're gonna hear the, the noise of the fan and so on and so forth so this is what the front cover looks like and it does come with a little kit this month and this is rooting for you uh, this is to make little cactus pin cushions um, it comes with the brown the cream the pink it comes with 20 pins and then on this side it comes with the green um, it's funny because a couple of days ago a couple of days before this came um, it might have been Saturday no I can't remember it was the beginning of the week I actually repotted my cactus plants I've got four um, it's the only thing I can sort of keep alive <laughs> I've had one for about um, 10 years and it's sort of that big without the pot and it just keeps leaning over um, it's terrible but I've sort of put it in a bigger pot propped it up with a bamboo stick um, see how we go I have put it in a bigger pot because the roots were uh, it was in like a tall pot before and the roots were so compacted I couldn't actually get it out of the pot so I had to use a knitting needle to try and dig round it was an old knitting needle that I had in that pot to prop it up anyway because I didn't have anything else strong enough it was just an old really old metal needle and I thought well it'd be fine I can just clean it off um, you don't really water cactuses that much so but anyway, let's get on with the magazine. Um, that's a picture showing you the cactuses. They are really cute actually, but I don't know whether they would stand up like they stand up there. Um, I might give them a try. Who knows? I've got to get this blanket done before I go on holiday. That's, that's the thing. So, mm. this is what's in the magazine. Um, I really do like this top. Um, I am debating whether to buy the pattern for this because I really do like it. Um, I have seen that Knit Nottingham, Eleanor, has has do, does wear this top quite often. Um, and it's not in these colours, it's in different, color, different colours. Um, I, when I first see this pattern I was like, mm, no I don't like that. But the colours that she's done it in is really nice. So I do like that. Um, a doggy and a octopus um, I think you can buy them oh in the latest book I should have I have sort of flicked through this magazine um, and then here it's just showing you the different bits and bobs and again, oh, I like these scissors, I like the rainbow effect. Um, again, just different bits and bobs. Um, it's five fab fi finds. Um, life's a beach, and this is what you can use oh, on the beach. 
and I was debating whether to make that, not for my holiday, but um, I have got that magazine and it's back in issue 46, I think it's one of the first issues that I, I brought. <clears throat> um, the pattern for the cactus, uh, I might give that a go, I might do. I really do like this but I would never make it, it's a beach blanket. Um, really nice, all different squares and everything. Um, it's also got a beach ball and a little key ring flip flop. I've made baby flip flops before. Um, a beach towel, that's just the straps that you make. A beach bag, I do like that. Um, 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 um. This is just showing you how to make the bits and bobs that I've just shown. Um, as I say in every every time I show this, if you are subscribed, you get a crochet along. And this month, it's that. That's quite cute. Um, I was thinking I might actually try it, but then I've got so many blankets, it's unbelievable. So, uh, I might give it a miss for now. Uh, but I've always got the magazines and you can always get them when if you're subscribed you can get them online so it's not like you have to go digging for the um the book so this I'm really not sure about um hmm tell me your thoughts it is a vintage pattern and if I show you this side it's showing you the vintage pattern um crochet dungarees yeah I just for kiddies yeah um for adults i don't get it it goes from a size 8 to a size 18 um so yeah you've got to be quite small to to wear them but um, yeah i just don't get it i'm sorry um if they're your cup of tea then do them by all means but for me i think because i'm quite i'm quite a larger girl then no um, just another story they do stories in here I haven't read that yet um, little Pedro little donkey um, not by a designer that I know pop your colour that's really nice that's really pretty but that's done in a four ply with a five mil needle so it's only using one one ball um it's done in it's done in dye ninja high twisted merino fingering and one skein of pop tart um <clears throat> it is really nice i'll try and show you the finish thing it is really nice but um i don't really use four ply that often so, and I don't really have anything in four ply in my stash. Um, to make that double knitting, I think it might be a bit thick for what it is. I might give it a try one day. Who knows? This is really nice, but it doesn't go up to my size. Crochet jumper. It's called Heads Up. Um, and I believe you can wear that with the motif on the front or the back. I think they're both exactly the same. Um... So that's it with the motif on the back. Quite pretty actually. And there is a chart there showing you the skull head. It is really pretty. Uh, also, there is some bunting and like a, a mandala thing. Um, I don't think I would ever do bunting unless it was for a specific occasion. Um, fresh as a daisy now this I don't understand either um, plain top not crocheted, not knitting it's a store bought top with the the daisies embroidered on mm, not for me um, I'll try and not show you the oh well um, yeah it's just not for me 
um, I do like a bit of pattern in my clothes and um, people say, a lot of people do say that I wear my pyjamas when I go out because I like a lot of flowers and the trousers I've got on today, I actually bought these in Malta last year, um, we was in a restaurant and the girl was, the waitress was wearing them, I said to her I love your trousers because they look really flowy and really nice and she goes oh I bought them in the shop down the road and bearing in mind this was the last evening we were there, we was due to leave at uh, 4 o'clock that morning or the next morning and she goes oh they're, they're in the shop down the road so she she explained to me where they were I said to me and we, we, we've got to go there I really like them and I, I got a pair so <laughs> I don't really wear them that often because they are orange um orange and blue that's why I've got a blue top on um I will try and show you let me see if I can move the camera without getting my knee in. um but this is them um they're really flowy really like they're just, the, the wind catches them. They're, they're sort of like, um, not a harem pants, but that sort of thing. But yeah, so I really like them. I like a lot of pattern and flowers and call me, people call me old, <laughs> but I don't care, I like flowers. So, um, this is a excuse me my throat this is a flamingo um it's like a keychain thing there's a lot of flamingo things going around i bought a pair of flamingo shorts for my holiday and i also bought a flamingo swimsuit it's blue with flamingos all over it so yes a bit wild um every month it shows you a stitch pattern and then on the other side it shows you how to use that stitch um and that is what they've done this sharong thing really cute but um i would probably wear it but it's too soon to my, to my holiday for me to make it i've just got so many other things on the go um another good read thing there <clears throat> um the same thing this is so cute um a little baby baby grow thing like a sailor's outfit um little boy it's called i think it's really really cute um it's done in a four ply and a three and a half mil hook and it's done in drops baby alpaca silk um i would probably do that in a cotton just because if it's summer it'd be a lot cooler especially for a baby um, and that's all you'd put them in with a nappy, I suppose. So, um, that's just the pattern. Showing you um, good clean yarns. Uh, I'll pick of yarns for dishcloth and s shower scrubbies. I was going to say that completely wrong then. And um, they're all in orange, even though that's not really coming up orange. Um, and then the these are all the the yarns. You've got King Cole dishcloth and craft cotton, knit picks dish or dishy, Rico Creative Bubble, Lion Brown 24/7 cotton, Lily Sugar and Cream, and Wendy Wash Knit. Um, I've never used um, Sugar and Cream before, and I really would lo love to try it. Um, here it's saying it's an Aran, um, but I would really, really love to try. Um, sugar and cream so I did go into Hobbycraft and I saw it in there and I felt it touched it really really nice um, I don't like buying things in Hobbycraft because I do find it's more expensive it's just that I don't have a local store that sells anything ex I say exotic <laughs> um, anything like that so but we shall see um, <clears throat> this is the show us yours and this has got the granny square jumper there the little watermelon um, cardigan that was in one of the magazines um, the same thing on the other side really just show us yours showing you how to edge your your like plain things showing you if you can see it's showing you how to put like a mattress stitch in and then chain in um that's a good idea not that i it's not something that i would do 
Um, and then crochet essentials, just showing you how to crochet. Um, charts and diagrams. This is the um, abbreviations and conversion charts. And this always comes in so handy because I get sometimes I get really confused with the US and the UK terminology. Um, majority of the time I use US terminology just because that's how I learned with that's what I learned with sorry um, and I can read um, UK terminology obviously that I buy the books and I have done things out of the books um, but I just it's just how in my head if I write a pattern down that's how I I do it um, this is another mandala. This is the year of the mandalas. I haven't made one of these that mandalas. I don't know what I would do with it. Um, so, yes. Um, and now in the next magazine, mm, next issue, out on the 20th of July. Is it me or is, is the heat just got to me? I don't understand many things lately that are in books and that I see and... Why would you want to make a dog bed? Please explain that to me. <laughs> I don't have a dog. I don't have any animals. Um, but why would you want to make a TP dog bed? Um, each to their own, obviously. If you've got a garden and you want to keep the dog out of the shade, then that's fine. But I would imagine this would take a hell of a long time to make. Um, but other than that, other than that, you get a free shawl pin with next month and you get five shawls to make. Um, so they look really pretty. Um, and then it's got yarn bombing ideas, um, a ladybird aragurumi, attic 24 mandala, crochet with wire, statement bag and more. Um, so yeah, that's in next month's issue. Um, Yes, I just don't understand the TP. Hmm. TP. TP for your garden, they've called it. Wouldn't that make you really hot? I don't know. I really I don't know. <laughs> um, and then you've got another um, read thing there. Um, and then that's it. And just an advert for Devon Wars on the back. Their pictures always look so nice. Um, but you know the trouble I have with Devon Wars. So I try not to order from them. Uh, I don't need to buy any yarn uh, until I have to make the unicorn and I have said to the lady that that probably won't get made till after my holiday and she said that's fine um, but depending on how quick I can get this blanket made up today I'm not doing anything so I'll probably get a good couple of colours done while I'm just watching the TV um, then later on um, I know we are popping out but I might take it with me because Ian is going to help someone with their car so I will be able to sit and just do a few bits but other than that that's that's it so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you're not subscribed please press that subscribe button and press that bell button and then you get notified when I upload um, yeah that, that's about it so far <laughs> that's all I've got to show that's all I've got to say um, I know that not a lot has been uploaded the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not that I'm getting out of YouTube or I'm getting bored of it or anything. It's not that at all. It's just that I haven't really had anything to show. Um, I haven't really been doing anything, not even any life updates or anything. So um, and that's why I like. That's why I haven't got an upload schedule because otherwise, if I ha if I say I upload on a Monday, Thursday, and a Sun uh, Saturday or something like that, then I wouldn't really have much to show. So I just want to show you what I've got, when I've got it, and I think it would be more not informative, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'm gonna go um, and drink the rest of my coffee because my throat is driving me mad. Um, so I hope you all have a lovely day. It's not as hot here today. Um, it is Friday morning. It's going to be about 23, 24 today. So excuse the hair. Um, it's just been so hot that I haven't even had it down. I've slept with it up. I've had it up all day. Um, just haven't really done anything with it. Just put it up in a hairband and that's it. It's just been too hot. 
and it's due to have a cut and that's going to be next week so I'm going to have about four four inches off the bottom because it needs it I'm going to stop rambling so have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next video bye for now